Hi, welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos and in this video I'll be helping you out on how to create a Swagger file using Informatica Cloud. Let's look at what a Swagger file is. It's a document that describes captures RESTful API. Informatica Cloud supports a Swagger specification of 2.0. When you create a Swagger file, you can go ahead and use the Swagger file in REST v2 connection. In order to use this Swagger file creation or generation feature in your cloud org, we need to license this particular package at your end. You can contact Informatica Global Customer Support or your sales representative for the same. The following are the supported HTTP calls for the generation of Swagger file. HTTP GET, HTTP POST, HTTP PUT and HTTP DELETE calls. The authentication supported in Swagger file generation utility as of now are basic, digest, OAuth, and the MIME types which have been supported are application JSON and application XML. Let's go ahead and try to have a demo on how to create this Swagger file using Informatica Cloud UI. Browse Informatica Cloud portal and log in using your credential. If you have the license to use Swagger file generation utility, then you can navigate to configure and Swagger files option. In this case, I'll be using a simple REST call. Let's test the simple REST call using the browser, which is going to return us a JSON MIME type. Click on the new and you will see a screen appears with a lot of attributes which needs to be filled up. Provide a appropriate name here. and select the runtime environment where it needs to be run. Give a URL. Provide the HTTP call and authentication type, which is none in this case, and API base path. API base path usually is the first part of the resource in the URL or the first part wherein all the REST API is being served on the consumer end. In this case, it is going to be post and API path is always whatever succeeds that of the resource path after API base path. In API path, you can also configure variables by having it within curly braces. In this case, I don't need any username password. The accept MIME type is JSON and so is the content type. In this case, I don't need any headers or query parameters to be configured. But in your REST call, if you have any headers or query parameters, you might need to provide the same in a simple JSON format. Provide an operation ID to uniquely identify the operation which you're going to perform. If your parameters in this case is not going to pro process or you know get or fetch a JSON response file then you have an option of uploading a JSON file as a response over here and generate the Swagger file definition. I'm clicking OK. By clicking OK I'm able to actually generate a Swagger file definition. There are two options for each and every generated Swagger file. You can either delete or download. Let's download one and have a look at the Swagger file. This is how the Swagger file definition looks like. Users are generally advised to download the Swagger file and place it in their runtime environment wherein the REST v2 connection is configured. With this, we come to the end of the demo. Thanks for watching the video, and we would like to hear from you. You can mail your feedback to supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support.